Hello, folks. You know, I need theme music to come in with, I think. That's what's missing from this. But anyway, you folks know the drill. I'm Alan Nursall, Tell Us World of Science Edmonton. A little bit of kitchen science time again. And this one, you can see over my left shoulder, it's got balloons. So, let's get started. Before we get to the balloon, I want to introduce you to an ordinary kitchen glass. We want to use glass in this case because glass is a really great electrical insulator. We're going to deal with electrostatic charges today and glass will prevent them from moving anywhere we don't want them to go. So I'm going to put, some gla I'm going to put that glass right there on the tabletop. Second thing I need is a little baking tray. This is probably aluminum. It's just a simple baking tray. It could be any size you want. I'm going to put it right there, set it on top of the glass. And the last two things I need, I need a balloon, in this case red, and I need a piece of wool. In this case, a really straight up awesome, like 1970s vintage Canadian toque. So, wool is really great for generating electrostatic charges on surfaces. And if I start to rub this balloon with the wool, it'll start to pick up an electrostatic charge. You can sort of feel it in your hair. You know it's picking something up there. And so that single electrostatic charge is now contained on the surface of the balloon. I'm going to put it on the tray. The tray's metal. It's picked up the same electrostatic charge. And if I touch the tray, whoa, <laughs> I get a nice little shock. And what's cool is if you take it off, you get another shock, put it back. You can get, <laughs> I'm still getting shocks. They're not big, they're like really, really little shocks. But what we have built here is a simple device for storing electrostatic charge. In a laboratory, it might be called a Leyden jar. The devices that are used to store up a positive or a negative charge to discharge when you need them. That's what you've got here. And the best way to try this out is just do it yourself. Because you don't have to take my word for it that I'm getting a little electrical shock. You want to try it. Wow! <laughs> it's always... And there you go. That's how you store electrostatic charges in a simple bit of kitchen equipment. I'm Alan Nursall. Over and out. Oh! <laughs> take the balloon away. Get another and bring it back.